Hey guys, welcome to the top three Unity assets for October 2020. And remember, I need to do a month behind because when this is recorded, it's November, but I always have to do the October because all the October assets will only be out once October ends. Remember to take a look at the great stuff on the Unity Assets store that I give away for free and sell. Take a look at the Patreon and join the community Discord. But with the first asset today <laughs> is actually from me. So this is the door interaction kit, which is just a selection of different ways you can interact with a door. So a raycast door, a trigger door, hinge door, a button sort of press to open a door and picking up a key. It comes with showing you tutorials on how to do the raycast, having all the controllers, animating a door and doing things from there. So you can check this out if you like the idea. The next one is the basic RPG icons and it's 88 different icons with one avatar, four class icons, five profession icons, 38 armor icons, nine weapons, 15 resource and 16 skill. There is other packs with lots and lots of other icons but this one just has a selection here. The next one is the isometric nature pack and it's a pack of tiles and props for a creation of an isometric game in just little tiny blocks for different seasons for spring, autumn, winter and summer with different ground types, includes rivers, trees, stones and differences for each season. The next one is something called Visual Raycast, which I think is quite helpful. And it lets you visually see the use of Raycast and shoots a line out so you can see it and helps you visualize it by it changing colors. And you can use debuggers to show exactly where the lines are going if they're hitting a particular object that you're looking for and vice versa. The next one is the Texture Channel Mixer. And this is an editor extension which allows you to split color channels from images and recombine them to create new ones. So it's, it comes with a simple extension there and the tools allows you to add reference images by clicking to add reference. You can mix the channels together and make different combinations for different types of Unity setups. The next one is the 3D Level Generator and it's a way to generate 3D levels using images in Unity and it comes with an actual basic player and character movement. As I said, it allows you to create, you could create simple mazes or other complex sort of scenes like that. The next one is the Shaded Free Retro Car and there's a couple of different sort of car ones in this month and it's from the 70s Shader Car Pack and it comes with four different car variations. One car material at 1024 by 1024 with shaded headlights, taillights, windows, mirrors and all different elements of the car. Suitable for races which are a top-down game or ones which you're trying to achieve this particular style. The next one is something called UV Lens and UV Lens allows you to click on an object, click on the window tools and look at the UV of an object so you say you might need to look at a particular drip to see what the UV looks like if it's something that is important for you for development. A little easy extension? What more can we say? The next one is the high quality PBR old retro radio free as it suggests a PBR 2k resolution model with emissions which you can turn it on and off to look like the actual radio is on and it's a quite a nice model radio with about 2000 polygons in total. The next one is the strategy camera light and it's something for if you're trying to create a real time strategy, business simulator, city builder and it supports particular features which includes particular features like mouse orbiting, keyboard movement, key based multipliers, position dragging, scroll wheel zooming allowing you to target and follow particular objects, configurable movement speeds, limits and inputs. And the last but not least is something called the productivity toolkit which adds a bunch of productivity tools to the editor which allows you to randomize transforms, move objects to a surface, uh, have a selection filter, a battery namer, an array creator and rename objects and lots of different operations in there. So these are all the assets that are featured in this month for October 2020. You can check out all the other ones in the playlists that you can find for all the other great fantastic assets. Check my assets out in the Unity store. Be sure to support me on Patreon and join the community Discord. And even though my, it seems lonely that my Patreon isn't super popular, I do now have one person to put and thank them very much for their support on Patreon. So thanks to everybody for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.